بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سمر ویکیشن ٹاسک کلاس سیون امیزنگ سائنس یونٹ نمبر ون سٹرکچر آف لیونگ آرگینزم لیکچر نمبر ون دس یونٹ بلانگ ٹو اے برانچ آف سائنس دیٹ از کال بایولوجی بایو مین لائف اینڈ لوجی مین اسٹڈی سو ان دس برانچ آف سائنس وی اسٹڈی اباؤٹ لائف The first uh, topic of this chapter is structure of flowering plants. Flowering plants are those plants which produce flower. It consists of two main parts, vegetative parts and reproductive part. First of all, vegetative part. They form the main body of the plant and further it consists of three parts. Number one, the stem, root and leaf. stem is the part of the plant which grow above the ground the structure of the stem note these are the swollen area from where the leaves or buds are arise internode the space between two nodes are called internode in this diagram you can see these are the nodes and the space be between these two nodes are called internode terminal bud a stem has a bud at the tip that is called terminal bud which increase the length it is also called apical bud you can see here in this diagram this is the terminal bud or apical bud another bud that is called axillary bud this bud is present between uh, the leaf node and the stem and from this axillary bud flower and branches are arise you can see here this branch so it arise from the axillary bud a uh, young stem is usually green because it have chlorophyll and it can carry photosynthesis uh, young stem have also small pores they are called stomata through stomata the gaseous exchange take place now type of stem erect stem some of the stem are upright in position and the such kind of stem are called erect stem horizontal stem some of the stem horizontally grow horizontally along the ground and such stem are called horizontal stem and the example is strawberry this is a strawberry plant and this diagram and their stem that are horizontal stem climbing stem uh, some of the stem are long thin and weak and have the ability of climbing to find some support you can see here these are the climbing stem fleshy stem these stem are thick and fleshy and the example is bulb on and comb bulb is actually this is the underground part of the onion the upper part of the these are the leaves these are green and this part the food is stored this is also the part of the leaves but uh, it is not green the food is here stored here and this is this area is stem this whole area is called bulb another example is also given in your book that is saffron flower so this this is the comb of this saffron uh, saffron flower and it is also a fleshy stem next is tuber some of the stem grow underground and store food a lot of food and these are called these uh, these have buds nodes and enter nodes the example is potato and ginger you can see here this is a potato tuber buds are there and this is a ginger it have also small buds finally function of the stem 
the function of the stem it bear leaves birds flower and fruits it also provide the space for the leaves so each leaves obtain air and sunlight transport the stem transport water and minerals from root to the leaves and then prepare food glucose from the leaves to the all parts of the plant body it also hold the flower and fruits photosynthesis also take place in the young stem some of the stem can store food like uh, potato tuber so this is the end of first lecture of unit 1 thank you